Hello and welcome to another episode of The Average EV. Today we are going to be reviewing the Electron 40 amp mobile charger. Let's get into it. All right, everybody. So here we have the Electron 40 amp portable charger. Um, I've been using it a little bit, tested it out. It's been working great. It's been able to charge our vehicles up just as advertised. Uh, so let's dig into the details a little bit. So this is 40 amps, so it can provide a maximum charging speed of 9.6 kilowatts, which is really good. And honestly, you don't really need more than that to charge your vehicle up at night. Most of the time, you're only gonna use 10 to 15, maybe 20% every day. So um, this is gonna be absolutely fine. No need to get more than you need uh, for your charging needs. Now, if this isn't enough, you drive down to zero every day. I don't know what you do, but there you go. Uh, maybe you might need something a little faster, but I think this is gonna basically serve most people's needs. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna open the box, kind of check out the charger a little bit and get my first impression, or I guess second impression, because I've already uh, used it a little bit. So here it comes in a, a very nice Electron case. The handle, it unzippers. And then there it is. Okay, so it has a nice, um, user manual i'm actually pretty impressed with what it goes through and how it explains everything uh which is really nice it comes with straps there comes with a wall mount where you can put the uh charger box into on your wall which is a really nice feature it comes with the screws and the anchors required to do that as well all right, everybody. So we're going to kind of take a look at the whole uh, EVSC charger, whatever you want to call it, uh, and kind of get my impressions here. So really love the handle. Nice quality feel. Has the silicon tip, which protects the pins. Has a little stretchy thing here, so it's nearby. And then when you're done, you plug it in. Again, this is a J1772 plug, so it works for all CCS vehicles, so basically anything but Tesla. Uh, that will change over time because some uh, cars are adapting the, uh, the, the Tesla plug, but this will work for you. And if you have a Tesla, you can use your adapter that you probably already have and plug it in. So that's nice as well. The button here has a little lock, so you can put a little mini padlock to protect your charger uh, in case you charge outside. Additionally, many uh, EVs actually have the ability to lock the charger in place, and this uh, charger works for that. I tested it with the Volkswagen ID.4 and the Kona, and it worked really nicely. Uh, I would make sure you have your settings so that when charging completes that it stays locked if you uh, charge your car outside just so no one tries to walk away with a really nice electron charger this uh, charging handle is ip54 rated and is also ul listed so it's nice and safe and you can trust it and again i ip54 is for sprays of water so think about rain and stuff like that so it'll work nicely for you now my one biggest complaint about this charger is the cable. It's very thick, uh, but that's good because it's kind of over-engineered, so it's gonna be nice and safe because it is uh, thick and, um, and kind of the current that it can handle. But because of that, it makes it a little bit harder to kind of work with. You can see, uh, okay, it's a little hard to manipulate, but it's nothing too crazy and definitely workable. The cable is 16 feet, so it's not the longest, but it's not the shortest. So uh, you're gonna want your um, outlet to be relatively close to your car so that you can plug it in. So say you have a car that parks outside of the garage and a car inside, it might be hard to reach the car outside of the garage. Now let's move down to the actual charger box here. Really nice, sturdy charger box. They uh, tout that it uh, is able to, they actually have a car driving over top of it. I'm not gonna do that test, but I'm gonna trust them on that. Uh, there are four different lights. We have the power, connect, charging, and error light. And on the back, it explains, here, let me flip it this way. Uh, it explains what all those lights mean for you, gives you some directions, and kind of shows all the certifications and safety stuff. Okay, here is the NEMA 1450 outlet. Uh, this will just plug right in, and then it's gonna supply you with 40 amps of power or up to 9.6 kilowatts of power, which is great. And that's gonna charge pretty much every vehicle in the market overnight 
no problem, unless say you drain it to 0%, which most people don't. Uh, if you do, maybe look at getting a, a charger with a little bit more power, but I think this is gonna work for pretty much everybody. Um, this box is IP65 rated, which means it can withstand um, jets of water, and I'm actually gonna test that out later so that you all don't have to, just to make sure that it does work properly uh, and you can feel comfortable and safe using this. And uh, it is ETL certified. Now, ETL is a certification given by Intertech, and Intertech basically runs the same safety uh, test as you will, and a couple others. So it's a great certification and you can feel really, 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 really confident using this charger. Now, one thing I do want to mention is this box does not have uh, the ability to change the current, meaning you can't lower it from 40 to 32 to 24 to uh, 16. So what that means is I highly recommend that you only use this in a 1450 uh, NEMA outlet uh, to a car that can uh, accept this charge. Uh, most cars you can uh, change the current accepted inside uh, and you might want to look into that uh, test line. It makes it really easy and uh, other cars you can do it as well but it's not as clear. On that note and again I am not recommending this but I know some people are going to be out there and they're going to want to do it but I'm going to tell you not to. Do not use this with an adapter. You're going to want to use this some people might want to use this as an adapter and plug into their dryer outlet. And the issue with that is when you plug into the dryer outlet, this is going to ask for 40 amps, but a dry outlet should only really be giving you 24 amps. And you kind of see where the issue is there. It'll probably trip your circuit and could cause a whole bunch of uh, safety issues that you don't want to deal with. So again, I do not use an adapter. Plug this into a 1450. Um, receptacle that was installed by a licensed professional electrician that way you don't have to deal with any negative consequences of that so um again i really really like this unit it's really nice it's not you know super high tech it doesn't have a lot of features and smart features but it is definitely going to get the job done for you so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go straight with water and see if it survives all right, everybody, so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna spray the box there with water for three minutes. Um, that This is actually a little bit um, kinder than the IP65 test because the IP65 test is a jet of water. This is going to be a spray of water directly on the box. I like to do it where it feels about like heavy rain and then I'm gonna plug it in and see if it works. Here we go. All right, here we go, three minutes. That was three minutes. Let's go ahead, pick it up. All right, everybody, so it's been three minutes. Doesn't feel like any water's gotten in, so it looks good. I'm gonna go ahead, plug it in, and we'll dry it off first, plug it in, and then see uh, if it still works. All right, everybody, we are plugged in, and it is working, as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the car and make sure it can pull some current, and I think I'm gonna call this successful. Let's see. All right, everybody, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in and see what happens. All right. Good, hear it click. And the car is charging, so excellent. So see, that's charging there, and the box is working. So that is really good. All right, everybody, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drop it three times with the cap on, because the cap is meant to protect it three times with the cap off and then see how it holds up. It feels pretty durable, so I think it's gonna do well. Um, I like to drop from about hip height just because that's about where uh, you would plug in your car. So here we go with the cap on. And I'll drop here, I'll drop it onto my porch. Okay, just show you a couple things here. There we go, a little bit of scuffing, 
but nothing I think that would affect the uh, the usability of the product. Now let's take this cap off. Oh, my butter fingers. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'm gonna do that one again. Here we go. And one more. All right, let's see how it held up. Again, just scuffing. You can see some, oh, there it is, some scuffing. And here, there's some additional scuffing and a little bit there, uh, but nothing in my opinion that would affect its ability to plug in. So I would call it durable. It's, I mean, it is plastic after all, so it's gonna, it's gonna scuff if you drop it. So I would feel comfortable dropping this. Obviously, I don't know if I've ever actually dropped my charger before, um, but it looks like this one would hold up. The button works properly. Oh, I did miss a little bit of scratching on the button there. There it is, but really, you know, not too bad. All right, everybody, so I am done testing. It did a great job. It passed my water test. It passed the drop test. Um, so yeah, really, really impressed with the quality of this unit. I would absolutely highly recommend for you to purchase this unit. Uh, but remember, you need to have that 1450 NEMA receptacle. That way you can safely charge your vehicle with this. It's, it's, just, it's just really nice. Now, before I give my final, final thoughts, I wanna just show you again, cause the cable is really challenging to use. So here we go. Let me show you. I've practiced this. So you put the box in first, kind of curl it a little bit around the plug, and then you just kind of, hold up. All right, well, this is for entertainment, if anything. Uh, whoops, it's all tangled. I'm leaving this in, I'm leaving this in. Here we go. So yeah, again, it is, you can, and you can see how hard it is to manipulate. There's that. And you just kind of, Circle it in, push it there. Ugh. There it is. And one last little twist, put the handle in the middle and there it is. So you all saw that was a little bit challenging. Um, it's definitely, I, it's, that's probably my, my least favorite part, <laughs> but it is, it's super nice and um, like I said earlier in the video, you could confidently use this um, every day, you know, plug it in at your house uh, and feel really confident. And then in the occasional event you go on a long road trip, maybe pack it up. Hopefully it takes you less time than it takes me to put away. And then you have this for uh, uh, safety and a little bit of um, security just in case you maybe you run out of battery but or you're about to and there's no chargers around but you find like a campsite and they'll let you plug in and charge up your vehicle so a really really great charger all right everybody so i cannot recommend this product enough to you it's just high quality feels well built has all the safety certifications to go along with it the ip65 checks out love 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 this unit love this company electron i had heard a lot about them and when they reached out to me to review this charger i said absolutely because i knew that it was going to do really really well uh, with my testing uh, a lot of people will review stuff and not actually check stuff out i like to do it obviously there's others who are better than me uh, and they they're really incredible um, but I, I just wanted to make sure i at least checked out the things that were important to me which is if it gets wet because i always worry about that plugging in my car uh, outside so there it is um, if you're interested in this charger i'm going to have everything linked down below to amazon uh, to the electron website i actually think it's cheaper on the electron website right now uh, but i would check out every uh, now now and again to see what the prices are and you can get it on Amazon. They also have a whole bunch of other products. They have adapters you can use uh, to use uh, uh, Tesla destination chargers and stuff like that. So a really great company. Uh, check them out. And uh, yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, this review of this awesome product. Please leave your comments down below. Um, it's I'm just yeah, I'm I'm impressed. Uh, so again, thanks for watching. If you want to purchase it, use the links and uh, hit the like subscribe button and I will catch you all next time.